Hey guys, what's up? It's that guy's guy 21 here with a new video. Today I'll be doing an unboxing on the Razer Anza Tournament Edition. So here are some images of the box. This is a great controller. It is a wired gaming controller made by Razer and it is only for the Xbox 360. So let's get to unboxing this. So again, here we have the box. Um, the back has all the stuff that it has in it, its features. And there's also a Dragon Age 2 edition, there's a Mass Effect 3 edition, and there is a Battlefield 3 edition of this controller. This retails for $50 um, on the Razer site, but I got it at Best Buy for $40. And the Professional Edition, this is a Tournament Edition, Professional Edition retails for $40. The difference between the two is um, the professional doesn't have the customizable thumbsticks, um, the thumbstick like grip, not grip, but pressure, I would say tension, thumbstick tension, the professional doesn't have that, and the professional does not have the light up X, Y, A, B buttons, so there's the two difference. Um, so we got it out of the box. It also comes with a braided cord which is 15 feet long uh, with a break breakaway cable so if you tug it you won't your Xbox won't come falling down it'll just disconnect. So we have the controller now out of the box as you can see it's really nice. The select and start is on the bottom and the D-pad is its own individual buttons. So we have this package which you get with every Razer product. Um, for gamers, by gamers, Razer Zone comes with every product. You can watch my other unboxing on the Razer Death Adder. Um, has that package too. But here you have the basic um, certificate of authenticity, the quick start guide showing you how to program your controller. Um, here are two Razer stickers and some boring stuff. Alright, the main selling point of this controller is that it has two extra RB bumpers, right and left bumpers. Um, it has one on each side that are extra and you can program it to be any button on the controller except the D-pad. So, it could be any button that you want and it is pretty good for different games, Call of Duty. Not really Forza, I haven't tried it on any other games. But um, it comes in handy, really, really handy, even for, um, um, what's that game, all, all, all or Nothing, that one with the knife and the throwing knife, comes in handy, like, pretty much every time I play that game. So it's out of the package, here it is, and it's a really nice controller, uh, it has, it's, the controller is rubberized, so if you have sweaty hands, it's not going to slip. And it basically eliminates the moisture on the controller. Um, it's really nice. So there is a programmable button. Um, you hold that to pro program the buttons. So here's an image of the top with those two extra bumpers. Here it is on the side. And as you can see, the triggers kind of go up. I don't really like that that much, but whatever. Here is the braided cable and the breakaway. So there you guys go, that was the Razer Anza, I'm going to be doing a review on it, two reviews actually, one sooner, uh, maybe a week, and one maybe in three months. So thanks guys, comment, rate, and subscribe, and stay connected.